A shadow the size of a city is falling across our solar system, an object tearing through the void at a staggering 130,000 miles per hour. This is 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor to ever grace our cosmic neighborhood. But this is no mere cosmic rock. A storm is brewing in the world of astronomy as top scientists debate the first faint signs of non-gravitational acceleration, a subtle, almost imperceptible drift that hints at something other than nature at the helm. Controlled propulsion. The whispers are growing louder, giving voice to a possibility so profound that even seasoned experts are afraid to speak it aloud. Could 3i Atlas be a nuclear-powered reconnaissance craft, a silent watcher from another star? It's following a path so precise, so statistically impossible, that the odds of it occurring by chance are claimed to be less than 0.005%. If this sounds like science fiction, you must understand what is truly at stake. The mounting evidence we are about to uncover will challenge everything. You believe about our place in the universe and what truly moves between the stars. The first clue to its unnatural. Behavior wasn't found in a spectacular image, but buried deep within endless columns of data. Precision is everything when the mystery spans light years. The initial hints of anomalous acceleration in 3i Atlas emerged from the painstaking, relentless routine of astrometric measurement. Night after night, observatory teams in the desolate landscapes of Chile and Hawaii meticulously logged the object's position against a fixed tapestry of distant stars, recording timestamps with atomic clock accuracy. The Atlas telescope's sensitive CCD arrays, calibrated to near perfection, captured the faint trails of light as the interstellar object swept across the sky. These raw images, combined with follow-ups from pan stars and the unparalleled precision of the Hubble Space Telescope, became the official data set submitted to the Minor Planet Center. From these thousands of precise data points, astronomers built a detailed ephemeris, a celestial map predicting the object's location hour by hour. This entire process hinges on a single crucial variable, the residuals. These are the tiny differences between where the object should be according to a pure gravity model and where it actually is. Each residual, measured in fractions of an arc second, is a direct test of the fundamental laws of celestial motion. If something other than gravity is pushing or pulling on 3i Atlas, it will reveal itself as a pattern in these numbers, a systematic drift, a subtle kink, a deviation that grows relentlessly over time. Yet, after all the analysis, no persistent deviation. No unexplained acceleration at the millimeter per second squared level rose above the statistical noise. The official orbit solutions from JPL's prestigious Horizon System and the Minor Planet Center perfectly matched the observed track without invoking any non-gravitational forces. Adding a hypothetical thrust or an outgassing jet into the equations did not improve the fit. The hard data, so far, points to a natural, gravity-driven trajectory. Technicians and analysts, fueled by coffee through long nights, cross-checked calibration files and error bars, searching for a ghost in the machine. They scrutinized astrometric charts, overlaying predicted and observed paths, hunting for any hidden structure in the scatter of data points. Every outlier was interrogated. Was it a stray cosmic ray? A faint background star? A momentary tracking glitch? Only after this exhaustive review did the final residual plots deliver their verdict. The motion of 3i Atlas can be explained by the known gravitational influences of the Sun and planets alone. But the process is never truly over. As new data floods in from space-based observatories like JWST, and as the object arcs ever closer to the Sun, every fresh measurement is subjected to the same battery of relentless statistical tests. The margin for error shrinks with each passing night, and the hunt for a subtle, thrust-like signature continues. For now, the evidence for a propulsion drive is not just weak. It is entirely absent. But in the high-stakes world of interstellar mysteries, the very next observation could rewrite the story completely. The debate over what propels 3i Atlas has fractured the astronomical community. One camp clings to the classic physics of comets. They argue that volatile ices, dormant for eons, 
are now being heated by the sun, erupting into asymmetric jets that gently nudge the nucleus off its purely gravitational path. In this view, every non-gravitational twitch could be traced back to a pocket of carbon dioxide or nitrogen ice bursting free, sending a faint invisible plume into the vacuum of space. The physics supports this. For a comet of this immense size, a jet releasing just a few kilograms of gas per second could account for the theorized accelerations. However, the latest photometry and spectroscopic data show no strong evidence of such outgassing. A coma is present, but distinct jets remain frustratingly unresolved. On the other side of this intellectual battle stands a handful of theorists, led by the controversial Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb. He argues that the absence of clear outgassing, combined with the object's sheer brightness and its unnervingly precise trajectory, leaves the door wide open for more radical explanations. Loeb has publicly floated the staggering possibility of a nuclear-powered propulsion system. He suggests that if 3I Atlas were an engineered probe, a gigawatt-class reactor could produce both the luminosity and the subtle acceleration observed, at least in theory. He points to the object's grand tour of the inner planets as powerful circumstantial evidence for intelligent design. The calculations behind this theory are audacious. A gigawatt reactor would generate thrust on the order of a thousand newtons, more than enough to noticeably alter its trajectory over weeks. But such a system would be a beacon in the dark, emitting a flood of intense gamma rays, neutrons, and waste heat, all of which should be detectable by our observatories. Mainstream science, including NASA, remains deeply skeptical. They counter that no gamma, neutron, or infrared excess has been detected from the position of 3I Atlas. Not by the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, not by SWIFT, not by NEOWISE, nor by any ground-based radio arrays. The object's visible and infrared brightness perfectly matches the signature of sunlight reflecting off a cloud of dust and ice, not the incandescent glow of an onboard power source. Detailed models show that a nuclear drive of the required scale would outshine the comet in thermal and high-energy bands by orders of magnitude. The stark absence of these signatures, they argue, is overwhelming evidence against an artificial engine. The debate is complicated by the limits of our own technology. The faint coma could be masking small jets below the resolution of our best telescopes. Polarimetric and thermal infrared data, still pending from the James Webb Space Telescope, may provide the definitive answer. For now, the evidence tilts heavily toward natural explanations, but the ghost of an engineered object lingers, fueled by the object's statistical oddities. As Loeb himself says, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, but until we have that evidence, we must keep an open mind. The question hangs in the void. Are we witnessing the gentle push of ancient, sublimating ice, or the deliberate, controlled thrust of something built far, far from home? The numbers alone are difficult to comprehend. Astronomers estimate 3I Atlas spans nearly 20 kilometers from end to end, an object with the bulk and breadth of Manhattan Island, hurtling through the vacuum at over 130,000 miles per hour. Imagine the entire grid of city streets, every skyscraper, every bridge, unmoored from earth and sweeping across the void. This is not a pebble. It's a city-sized mass whose kinetic energy dwarfs anything in recorded history. If it were to strike a planet, the consequences would be apocalyptic. But this one is just passing through, indifferent to our existence, following a path set in motion long before the dawn of human civilization. Its sheer scale is a challenge to our perception of the cosmos. This isn't just an outlier among comets. It's an outlier among outliers. Both Oumuamua and Borisov, the only other known interstellar visitors, were minuscule by comparison. Oumuamua was barely the length of a football field. 3I Atlas, by contrast, carries the mass of a small city. Yet, for all its staggering size, it arrived like a ghost. Its approach vector placed it near the sun's glare, a celestial blind spot for ground-based telescopes. The automated sky surveys caught the first hints only after it had already breached the inner solar system. Early images revealed not a sharp-edged rock, but a blurred, swelling glow, 
a coma of dust and gas that shrouded its nucleus, making direct measurement nearly impossible. This visitor's existence forces a reckoning. It's a stark reminder that the universe holds surprises vast enough to shatter our imagination, and that even the largest travelers can arrive in absolute silence, leaving us to wonder what else is crossing the darkness, completely unseen. Its trajectory is governed by an unbreakable law of cosmic physics, a hyperbolic orbit. This is nature's definitive signature for an interstellar traveler. Unlike the closed, repeating ellipses of planets and comets bound to the sun, a hyperbola is an open path, one that never closes, never repeats, and never returns. For 3i Atlas, the numbers are unambiguous. Its orbital eccentricity exceeds 1.0, a mathematical guarantee that it is not a child of our solar system, but a visitor from the deep beyond. It entered our system at nearly 61 kilometers per second, a speed so immense it would punch past the sun's escape velocity even without a gravitational assist. The defining feature of this hyperbolic escape is its absolute finality. Once 3i Atlas completes its arc around the sun, it will not linger there is no gravitational leash to pull it back. Its outbound velocity will remain positive, an astronomical one-way ticket to interstellar darkness. This isn't just a technicality. It defines the fierce urgency of the scientific response. Every observation, every spectrum, every image must be captured now, before the window closes forever. The same orbital mechanics that prove 3i Atlas is not from here also guarantee it will never pass this way again. The trajectory of 3i Atlas reads less like a random path and more like a cosmic itinerary. On September 30th, 2025, it passes within 13.9 million kilometers of Mars. Just two weeks later, on October 14th, it makes its closest approach to Earth, skimming by at 27.5 million kilometers, closer than any interstellar visitor ever recorded. Venus is next, followed by a final swing past the gas giant Jupiter in March 2026. This sequence is not random. The object's hyperbolic path threads a narrow corridor through the inner solar system, grazing the gravitational spheres of four planets in succession. The odds of such a grand tour happening by chance, according to simulation studies, are less than 0.005%, a figure so vanishingly small it has fueled both intense scientific curiosity and rampant public speculation. For some, this alignment hints at reconnaissance, a deliberate pattern optimized for observation. For others, it is simply a statistical miracle. Avi Loeb's argument gains its sharpest edge here. The flyby sequence, Mars, Earth, Venus, Jupiter, isn't just rare, it's geometrically efficient. Each pass is close enough for high-resolution imaging, yet far enough to avoid capture. The object's retrograde path, running opposite to the planets, offers perfect lines of sight, free from the masking glare of the sun. As it sweeps past Mars, the red planet is perfectly illuminated. When it nears Earth, it's a near-side view. Venus's cloud tops are angled to maximize contrast. Loeb invokes the cold logic of reconnaissance. A probe sent to survey a system would optimize its path for maximum coverage with minimum risk. The odds of this happening by chance, he claims, are less than 1 in 20,000. If the path is engineered, it reflects a level of planning that rivals our own most ambitious planetary missions. Each pass of 3i Atlas raises an unsettling question that echoes the dark forest hypothesis. This theory imagines the universe as a silent, dangerous jungle, where survival depends on remaining unseen. Any civilization that reveals itself risks annihilation. If an intelligence wanted to observe us, it would send probes that gather data from multiple worlds and then slip away, leaving only questions behind. Avi Loeb draws a chilling line from 3i Atlas back to Oumuamua. In 2017, Oumuamua's bizarre shape and strange acceleration sparked a firestorm of speculation. Now, less than a decade later, a visitor 20 times larger appears, threading a path of impossible precision. Loeb suggests this timing is not random, but a sequence. 
first a scout, then a more capable probe, each one testing for a response. The stakes stretch far beyond astronomy into the realm of existential risk. Within SETI groups and security agencies, a quiet, urgent debate is raging. Should we respond or stay silent? The dark forest logic demands silence. Yet, the innate human urge to reach out persists. Spectra from the world's leading telescopes tell a story written in gas and dust. The object's coma is dominated by carbon dioxide, with a CO2 to water ratio of nearly 8-1, the reverse of most solar system comets. This chemistry suggests it was forged in a colder, more distant part of another star's system. While its brightness is high, it aligns with expectations for a large, active comet, not an artificial reflector. Imaging campaigns track the tail, which displays a classic orientation, pointing away from the sun. No persistent collimated jets or unnatural emissions appear in the data. Skeptics point to these signatures as powerful evidence for a natural origin. The chemical makeup, the photometric trends, the lack of high-energy emissions, they all fit the profile of an interstellar comet, albeit a strange one. This visitor doesn't just challenge astronomers, it provokes engineers. Within days of its discovery, mission planners at NASA and ESA ran the numbers on a rapid intercept. The results are sobering. To match a hyperbolic trajectory at 61 kiloparas mass, a probe would need to execute a one-way sprint at record-breaking speeds. Project Lyra, a team of propulsion specialists, concluded that a direct launch from Earth is impossible. The only viable option is a daring solar oberth maneuver. Launch a probe toward Jupiter, use its gravity to swing it back for a hair-raising dive near the Sun, and fire the engines at perihelion where gravity multiplies every ounce of thrust. But the mission window is brutally tight. By the time 3i Atlas was identified, the clock had already run down. Every week of delay adds kilometers per second to the requirement. The launch windows close by early 2026. After that, the object will be moving too far, too fast, for anything to catch it. The lesson is clear. To meet the next interstellar arrival, humanity must be ready. Ultimately, the debate remains unresolved, and the window for action is closing. The rare trajectory, the absence of a smoking gun, the specter of cosmic risk, each side uses the same facts to draw opposite conclusions. In the face of the unknown, is it wiser to speak or to listen? The stakes are measured not just in data, but in the future we choose. As of now, critical information remains limited, some even classified. Whether 3i Atlas is a natural wanderer or something more, its arrival is a challenge to humanity, to prepare, to observe, and to respond with the very best science we have.